Well, the winds have built up into the mid-twenties. Probably touching around 30 knots now. So it seems like a good time to get that mainsail off altogether and go down to the storm trisail. Well, at least I get to test out my new storm trisail. But first we gotta get that mainsail down. Which is always a fun time. Especially with a gaffer. As you can see, one of the things that happens is the mainsail gets pressed up on that lee rigging, so you got to clear all that. And then you got to get both the boom and the gaff tamed, as the boat will tend to roll quite a bit once you get the mainsail off of her. So now I'm trying to get the boom and the gaff onto the gallows and get a lashing over it to get that well secured in place. So I'm doing that right now. Then we got to bend on the trisail. So I'm just pulling it uh, amidships there along the lee side deck. Careful you don't lose that sail overboard. And first thing I'll do is secure the tack, which is where the downhaul to the mainsail is secured. And the next thing is to lace the luff of the trisail onto the mast. That's what I'm doing now. I'm going to use the throat halyard as the halyard for the trisail. So now I have to transfer the throat halyard from the throat and attach it to the head of the trisail. Just be careful you don't lose that halyard in the process. Put that done and we're ready to raise the sail. So far, so good. afternoon and the low has moved on here and so skies are clearing a bit but and the winds will ease a bit but continue fairly strong for the next 24 hours but at least we're making good progress Using the toilet offshore in heavy weather is always a chore. And though I have a composting head installed below, offshore I, I choose to do my business in a bucket in the cockpit. Just bucket and chuck it. That's the most expedient way to do it. I'm 
discovered that my stern light has stopped working. My hypothesis is, is that it's the connectors to the light, so I'm going to try to replace those. It's going to turn out to be a fool's errand, though. It's just the, the stern light is burned out. I'll discover that later. But in the process, I also discovered that the connection to my VHF radio was just about to break. So I'm repairing that now. Always fun doing repairs underway with the boat rolling and your tools sliding back and forth. Oh, hi, everybody! It is Tuesday. The last day of June 2020, 30th of June. And we are at 47 degrees, 45 minutes north and 33 degrees 15 minutes west which leaves us leaves us with 944 miles to run to Fastnet Rock so we're under a thousand miles now we've had some pretty rough going the past few days favorable winds direction wise but a lot of wind and it's been rough uh, as you can see it's kind of gone down now it's dropped off to about 10 knots or so. And uh, we're still rolling in these leftover swells, but uh, um, looks like we're gonna get some uh, calm weather today and tomorrow uh, until tomorrow night or early, early Thursday morning. And then it's gonna really start to pipe up from the Southwest. Um, we're kind of heading east-southeast to try to get down around 47 north to avoid uh, the worst of this low pressure system that's going by the north of us. That's a gale system. And hopefully if we get down to 47, we can avoid, we can avoid gale conditions. So, it's a make and mend day. I took a bath this morning. It's the first bath I've had in 13 days. So that felt good. And uh, I'm about to cook myself up a decent lunch and uh, just replace the, till the shock cords on the tiller. And uh, I'm going to try to uh, put, this time we'll try some duct tape on the shaft where the air panel connects to the trim tab to keep it from slipping. I've been having problems with that. You clamp it, but it slips in the stronger winds. Um, and. Uh, if it's calm tomorrow morning, I'll probably drop the mainsail briefly and give it some more slush there. Give it some more beef tallow and uh, just go over the gear. Because it looks like uh, Thursday, Friday into Saturday, uh, we got another round of winds getting up upper 20s, possibly into the 30s, near gale force. So it's going to be fun. And uh, but it's one day at a time. And uh, we are getting there, and uh, I don't know when the next vlog entry will be, but when it is, we'll see you all then. Take care, everyone. Bye-bye. So here we go again. Another low-pressure system moving to the north of us. Wind and seas beginning to build. Got her back down to the trisail and the heavy weather jib. As you can see, even under this reduced canvas, she's still moving along at close to hull speed. No reason to carry more canvas than you have to. Winds are forecast to increase overnight, and I'm also getting a bit tired. So I'm going to take down the heavy weather jib and just heave to for a while and hopefully get some rest. Unfortunately, I was unable to 
get much rest. And I'm bothered by the fact that we're making very little progress toward our destination. So I'm going to get my gear back on, get up on deck and get her sailing again. As you can see, everything is wet and damp. Your gear is wet and damp, bedding. The entire cabin is, uh, is damp. There's just no escaping the moisture in these conditions. And up on deck, we're greeted with gale conditions. But I have her moving now just under the heavy weather jib. So we're, we're putting the miles down again, even if the ride is not very comfortable. There's a bunch of pilot whales out here body surfing in these waves. They look like they're having fun at least. <laughs> 